Hi, my name is Deacon David Reynolds with the Connecticut Catholic Conference, and I'm here today interviewing Lisa Maloney, who's Executive Director of the CareNet Pregnancy Care Center in New London, and also President of the Connecticut Pregnancy Care Coalition, which is a trade association representing many of the pregnancy care centers in Connecticut. And we're here today to learn a little more about what pregnancy care centers actually are and what they do. So Lisa, first thing I'd like to ask you is, what is the purpose of your center and pregnancy care centers in general? Mm -hmm. So the purpose of our center is to offer a safe place for a um, man or woman facing a pregnancy decision. Uh, my center and centers like mine um, offer free services, but more importantly, compassion, honesty, and information to help them along that decision-making process. What specific services does your center offer to its clients? So my center is a licensed outpatient clinic. So we offer a range of medical services, including the pregnancy test, ultrasounds, STI testing, and treatment. And all of those services are only performed by our nurses who are also staff members. Um, but like other centers who don't offer medical centers, uh, medical services, we offer a wide range of material assistance help, referrals, parenting classes, and just ongoing support as these men and women walk through that pregnancy. Do you review all the options that a woman has when she comes into your center seeking help such as adoption or abortion? Yes, we do. We go over everything. Our mission statement is empowering people to make informed choices. And I know many centers in the state of Connecticut have a mission statement similar to that. We believe that an informed choice is the best choice. And you can't have an informed choice unless you are giving information about every single one of your options. And you are president of the Connecticut Co Pregnancy Care Coalition. What exactly is the purpose of the coalition? Yes, the purpose of the coalition is to protect, promote, and defend pregnancy centers. Um, unfortunately, there are those who are um, not understanding the purpose of pregnancy centers. And so we felt the need to come out, support each other, but also show a united front that this is who we are and this is what we do. And is your program or any of the centers in the state receive any state or federal funding? To my knowledge, not a single center in Connecticut receives any state or federal dollars. Each center is responsible for their own fundraising, and so it comes from individuals, uh, churches, and some corporations or um, businesses, but no state or federal dollars. All donations. All donations. donations. Yeah. And and any last minute comments that you'd like to offer to those people watching us today? I think, you know, just letting you know that pregnancy care centers are making an impact in Connecticut. In 2018, we provided collectively over $1.2 million worth of services to the men and women in Connecticut. Um, I believe the rough numbers for 2019 are we saw 2,900 men and women come through the centers. Um, in in Connecticut. So, so that's an impressive record then for, for no, uh, no federal or state help. That's great. I think so. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Thank You're you. welcome.